Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to download MC Command Center onto your Mac. I've been trying to figure out how to do this for days and after watching other videos and reading up on how to install mods to my game, I've finally figured this out and I hope this helps you out as well. So let's jump into it. So the first thing you want to do is open up Origin, then go to my game library, open up your game settings, and check that your game is up to date and repaired. If you have mods that you've downloaded before, you'll want to take them out of the folder before you update your game. And you should only have the resource file that's left, which looks like this. Taking out the mods will just reassure you that your game won't mess up since Origin doesn't support third-party mods. So, back to Origin. You'll want to go to the top and locate Origin here on the top bar and open up Preferences. Once you're in, the screen should pop up on Origin and you'll need to scroll down to the Client Update section and make sure that Automatic Game Update and Automatic Update Origin are switched off. This will prevent the game from updating and messing up while you still have your mods in there. Now, to unzip the files when you download the mods, you'll need to use a file extractor. It could be any you prefer. I use Kika from the App Store and found that it works well for my game. So I have my file extractor open and origin open. Both of these should be open when you download the mods. Now we can go to Deaderpool MC Command Center. I find downloading the files easier on Chrome. Then, all you have to do is click on these links to install the mods and the latest versions are on top. You don't need to use the Woohoo link if you don't want it. You can just use the MC Command Center by itself. You can locate the zip files in your downloads folder. Again, you want to make sure that Kika and Origin are both open. Then all you have to do is double click on the zip files and a folder that's been extracted should pop up. And I'm just dragging them over onto the side so I can see them better. Now I can head over to Finder, open up a new window, go to my documents and locate the electronic arts folder. I'll drag these two so it's easier to drag the folders into my mods folder. The mods is in the Sims 4, and there's a folder that's labeled as mods. Now you can drag these two extracted folders from downloads into the mods folder and clean it up. I find that when I put these folders into other folders in the mod, sometimes they don't work or mess up. So I recommend you to just leave them as they are in the folder and don't put them in other folders. Now you can just close those folders and go back to Origin. And launch your game. If you have already allowed custom content on your game, a window like this should pop up when you get to your main menu. If not, just click on the three dots above, go to Game Options, Other on the sidebar, and make sure both script mods and custom content and mods are enabled. Don't forget to press Apply Changes, and from here you'll have to exit out of your game and relaunch your game again. And now you should be able to see that the window has popped up. Now to make sure that my mods are working, I've opened up a household and a notification should pop up that says Welcome to MC Command Center. I'm closing up that window and I'm clicking on Cassandra Goth to make sure that the MC Command Center option is available. And yes it is. You could look through it and have fun finding things out. It also works on the mailbox.
So I've opened MC Command Center back up for Cassandra Goff, and I'm going to change her skill cheats just to show you how it works. So here we're going to send info, skill cheats, set skill, and I'll go over to wellness and set that at 7. Now you can see that Cassandra Goff has reached a skill level of 7. So I know that the mod is working well. You'll have to play around a little bit with this mod and figure out what you can do with it. I think now I'm just going to exit the game and I hope that this tutorial has helped you out. If there's any more questions, let me know down in the comments below and see you guys next time.